Here you can see um, we've got the main portal vein coming in. Here is the proper hepatic artery. And it's coming up and it divides into the right and the left hepatic artery. Um, here you can see that this is the ductal system. And from where the cystic duct drains into the, the common duct, the, the, the common hepatic duct is superior to that. The common bile duct is inferior to that. Um, and you can see, and I'm going to say this over and over again because you're going to be tested about it. This, the first, you know, the three vessels of the portal triad are the proper hepatic artery, the common hepatic duct, and the main portal vein. All of them are going up to the liver, and notice the first one that bifurcates is the artery. And that right artery goes under the common hepatic duct. It goes between the common hepatic duct and the main portal vein. And we'll talk about that and look at that sonographically more and more and more. <clears throat> Let's see here. Now, there are variations in anatomy here. Um, the, you can have a, a replaced hepatic artery, which means it's not coming from its normal origin. Um, the right, the replaced right hepatic artery is the more common one, and it originates directly off the SMA. And you can see an image of it here. There's the aorta, there is the SMA. And, and usually I've seen this when I'm scanning the head of the pancreas because the replaced, repat, replaced right hepatic artery goes under the pancreatic head is what it does. Now the left, there's a, there's a replaced left hepatic artery. It's harder to see because it originates off the left gastric artery, which is very hard to image. You can see here the artery going under the pancreatic head. That's the replaced right hepatic artery. Here you can see it coming off the SMA here. And, you know, strangely enough, when you have a replaced left and right hepatic artery, you have, um, and in fact, as you can see here, and this is labeled wrong, this is not the common bile duct, this is the common hepatic duct because we're up in the liver. But you see we've got, th Mickey has three ears. And, um, you know, one is the duct and the other two are the arteries, which is unusual. It's an unusual arrangement. And you can see here, um, we're talking about the hepatic artery waveform. And you can see that there, this is the proper hepatic artery. That's the main portal vein. The, 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 the hepatic artery waveform or the proper hepatic artery waveform um, is a low resistance waveform. If you don't know what that means, low high resistance is when the flow will stop or reverse during the cardiac cycle. That's not happening here. If you see <clears throat> the waveform going up, it's going down and it doesn't stop. Next cycle, it goes to systole and it stays above the baseline. That means it's a low resistive waveform is what it means. Now, <clears throat> um, <clears throat> the post-operative liver transplant complications, we've got a couple of them. One is um, whenever you, the day after you look at a, value, a transplant, um, you can have high resistance of the artery. This high resistance of the hepatic artery is a very common thing. Um, if you look at it in the literature, it's, there's, is not much ominous about it. Um, there was a question on the boards, which I did not like. Um, I, it's still very well may be on the boards. And, um, it said that if you find this highly resistive hepatic artery post-surgery, it suggests venous congestion or possible organ rejection. Well, yeah, it probably reflects organ congestion because when they take the liver from the recipient and give it to the donor becomes somewhat edematous. And when you hook the arteries and veins up, um, they have a hard time. They have resistance going into the organ. Um, but as far as a liver goes, it doesn't, um, it, it, as far as the liver goes, it, it doesn't suggest organ rejection. I've seen based on uh, surgical techniques, I've seen that I followed up certain surgeons and it commonly looks highly resistive right out of the, the day of surgery. 
you'll follow it up. And as time goes by, that high resistance artery, like the picture on the right, will end up looking at the picture on the left. And it'll be more of a low resistance waveform over time. And they're looking at the flow in these vessels at the same time they're looking at the um, the chemistries, the, the liver chemistries. Once you give a person a new liver, their chemistry, their chemistry should normalize quite rapidly. Um, so you're going to have good arterial flow into the liver plus these liver enzymes normalizing suggest a healthy transplant.